Hey everybody, John here out at the Sanctuary of Strength here in Bend, Oregon. I'm going to show you a variation uh, that I came up with to do a belt squat. A belt squat is a powerlifting uh, kind of secret tool that has become more mainstream. There's uh, these various machines out there that can cost thousands of dollars and take up a lot of space. And we can get something very similar with uh, a creative rigging system here too. And the benefits of the belt squat is that we can basically completely decompress our spine. It adds, especially with this band setup I have here, uh, a little self-correcting, self-limiting variation. So it's a little different position for our squat. We really kind of have to fight to correct the position a little bit. So it gives us a lot of feedback as we're going and a little bit of those a random kind of oscillation, uh, we call it perturbations, where we're getting this reactiveness that our body has to stabilize and fight a little bit harder for. So I can really fry my legs basically, really challenge my legs without compressing my spine where every other squat variation is gonna really um, compress my spine and use a lot of other muscles. So this allows me to really work my legs essentially. So uh, what I came up with here, we can kind of zoom in here for a second. This is a heavier duty band so you can order one of these from jump stretch various companies this is a perform better band i believe uh, we can do some other things too actually i'll show you here first uh different different riggings that i've come up with this is uh, also a really cool versatile tool i highly recommend this is the os the original strength infinity strap uh, and i use this for a lot of crawling and other variations and stuff too uh, we could also use a belt like a loaded uh, belt that I would use for doing uh, pull-ups, weighted dips, that kind of stuff. This can work well, and this has a built-in system. I could attach this if I wanted to. I'm just um, getting creative here uh, and showing you uh, variations. We could use another band. We do need it, some kind of clip, heavy-duty clip, heavy-duty carabiner, uh, and as always, safety first. So I'll show you what I came up with, what I believe is the safest way to do this uh, and working here. So I'm going to put this on here little close close in uh in for the crotch here but um we'll make it work so this is going to hang down so i'm going to have this up tight to my crotch here a little close for comfort but i'm gonna survive here we'll see All right so i'm gonna go here rig this thing in here where basically the band is nicer because it doesn't cut into my hips as bad. No matter what you're gonna get that. Um, I could have something out maybe a little bit wider, but uh, I could use a loading pin. Uh, I have kettlebells right here, so I found this to be a really easy win. So I can stand on the boxes, ideally probably even have a spotter bringing the weight in. But if I use this bench, these are two sprinkler head boxes, something very sturdy boxes that I can use and I'm not gonna knock over uh, and or have kind of a escape route if I need to. So Athena's gonna spot me here. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I'll be fine. So I'm gonna attach this thing. Uh, this is just a setup that I have. This is the easy strap uh, from Elite FTS. You don't necessarily need one of these, but this is what I came up with a good option. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna bring this off uh, carefully here and put my hand down to stabilize. And then I'm gonna step up onto my boxes here. And now I wanna be pretty quiet with my legs, balance this out. And I'm gonna squat down nice and slow and smooth because this would be, again, another tool from more rehabilitative, more working, more higher muscle tension. I'm not gonna go do a bunch of high explosive uh, jump squats or something like that. Just not gonna be the best tool for that. It's for slow, smooth variations. So I'm gonna come down, hands could be out. I could even be holding on to something, again, to really focus down here, uh, almost like a variation of a leg press. So I'm gonna put my hands out a little bit, help stabilize. And I'm gonna sit down into that nice deep squat and come back up smooth. If I come back up fast, it's not gonna be too good. It's really gonna bounce around. That's too much distraction, too much um, variability, that perturbation effect. So I wanna be smooth and I want a straight line and be as upright as I can. It's gonna wanna kinda pull me forward a little bit. It's kind of a hybrid between a back squat, it almost feels like a low bar back squat, or something like more like a front squat. So again, coming down. I like to really do these with a pause or variations even like one of my favorites is a one and a quarter squat really work that bottom position here so nice again slow smooth see how that still bounces a little bit i could totally slow down get rid of all the momentum here and come up super slow and no sway at all so coming off of this i'm going to come down smooth set my weight on my bench here and then detach so there you have it there is the belt squat for you